Hi YouTube, this is Robonats1 here, and welcome to Comic Book Haul. One Marvel, one DC book for you today. So, let's get started with DC. Um, Injustice Gods Among Us, issue 8. This book still continues to be frickin' fan fantastic. It shows a growing war um, happening between um, Batman's group and the Green Lanterns versus Superman and the Justice League. And it looks like there is going to be a massive war for the Earth. Um, in, as I say, Injustice continues to be one of my favourite books. And this is no exception. Um, the story, um, takes place seven months later from the events that happened in issue seven. Um, Diana has had her baby. That's been throughout the beginning of year two. Um, she's had her baby and basically forces are now assembling together to fight off this war. And um, yeah, there was just some really, really good stuff in here that um, That if, if um, you're displeased with the events of New 52, Injustice sort of gives you what you want. Um, a few months, like, for example, a few months ago, um, the DC Universe said no to Batwoman's marriage to a certain character. It, if you're a Batwoman fan, then you know what I'm talking about. In this book, they're married. And I just thought that was fantastic. Tom Taylor cares about this universe quite a lot. And I think he appreciates his fans as well. Like, he knows what fans want, and he knows what fans aren't seeing in the New 52. And it's just a very, very good book, and easily has been, again, one of my favourite books this week. So, now we move on to Marvel, and we have Uncanny X-Men issue 24. Um, so, in this issue, um... The last will and testament of Charles Xavier continues. And we, met, and we learn many, and we learn a very, very interesting secret about um, Charles Xavier in this issue. Um, first, I would like to address the badger in the room, or is it horse in the room? Um, Dazzler's new look. Huh? Dazzler's new look, um, has turned it into a punk rock, um, into a punk rock person. I don't really care much for her new look. I think it's just a phase she's going through. It's still very, very weird. Um, however, just this issue is very, very good. It's very interesting. And if you've seen my Astonishing X-Men Dangerous review, um, I mentioned that one of the interesting bits about Charles Xavier was the fact that I don't believe Charles Xavier is 100% perfect. And Bendis is addressing that in this book. And we learn um, a, se a secret about um, Charles Xavier and Mystique. And we also learn um, 
that he has another dark secret. Yeah, I just found this book really, really interesting. And um, we also get um, sort of Wolverine and the X-Men's crew. Um, the Jean Grey School and Cyclops and, you know, and the Cyclops group having to interact, and, um, it's very interesting, because Iceman actually did, does stay, um, early on in this issue, that the X-Men never did allow themselves to grieve properly, and it's very interesting that they're actually addressing Charles Xavier's death, in a more surreal way. Um, really, really enjoyed this issue. Um, it, it was really, really good. My pick of the week, however, is Injustice, hands down. But, yeah. Um, it's just some really, really good issues, um, between, um, Marvel and DC, and I was very happy when I read them. So that's my review over. Um, click the links below. Um, click the links on the screen now in front of you. And for my recent reviews, um, do expect a Guardians of the Galaxy review to be coming out very, you know, very soon. Um, I really, really enjoyed the movie, and um, I hope you enjoy my review, and I hope you go see the movie as well. Um, other than that, no news to report, so I'm RebelNats1 here, and I shall see you all later for another comic book review.